Good evening. An Arizona lawmaker at the center of a DUI investigation after he was pulled over on the Loop 202 in Mesa last night. It's our big story on 12 News at 6. State Representative David Cook arrested on suspicion of extreme DUI after DPS says his blood tested nearly twice the legal limit. Team 12's Antonia Mejia is covering the latest developments in this investigation live from Mesa tonight. Antonia? Caribe and police say he was pulled over late last night out here near the Loop 202 Red Mountain Freeway and McDowell Road. Police also tell us that state lawmaker David Cook wasn't cooperating with them. State Representative David Cook arrested. He's accused of driving drunk with a blood alcohol level nearly twice the legal limit. According to DPS, a state trooper noticed the 50-year-old Republican drifting off the road as he was driving eastbound on the Loop 202 Wednesday night. Cook was eventually pulled over. He claims he dropped his cell phone and was trying to pick it up, but the trooper on scene described a strong odor of alcohol coming from the truck he was driving. According to DPS, Cook was not willing to step out of his truck at first and told the trooper who pulled him over, do you know what you're doing, son? You're making a mistake. Cook replied again, what do you want me to do? The trooper on scene says his eyes were bloodshot and watery. He was staggering after he finally got off his truck and was using the side of it to balance himself. Police documents say Cook was also not willing to consent to field sobriety testing, but he was still tested after he was told he would be taken to jail if he didn't. Cook was then arrested for driving under the influence. His blood alcohol level came in at 0.158. That's nearly twice the legal limit. No answer at one of his homes earlier today. And according to DPS, Cook's driver's license was suspended, but he was issued a temporary Arizona's driver's permit. And interestingly enough, police say that he said, quote, it's fine, my wife works at the MVD. We're live in Mesa, Antonia Mejia, 12 News. Okay, Antonia, thanks. Well, now that you've heard...